Hello everyone, you're watching PC Helper and welcome to another video in the Python 3.9 tutorial series. If by the end of this video you feel like you have learned something today, then please leave a like and also don't forget to subscribe to PC Helper for regular content. So in this video we'll be talking about arithmetic operators and variables in Python. This is the third video in this series, first one is downloading and installing Python. Second one is introduction to this Python 3.9 tutorial series and before watching with this video I want you to watch that second video first because most of you might already know how to download and install Python so you don't need that video if you know. If you don't know then you can watch that video too but the second video the introduction to Python 3.9 tutorial series in that video I have talked about what will be your learning approach in this series so first watch that video it won't take much of your time so watch that video and come back to this lecture and continue with this series. So once you have done that then let's continue with this tutorial and search in your search bar for IDLE and open Python 3.9 IDLE. Open it and let's first talk about variables. Variables are nothing but placeholders or we can say containers to store data values. So for example we have a variable x and we'll just put the equal to sign and assign it the value 5. So the value of x will be 5 and the next time we'll write x then it will automatically print 5. So there are some rules to name a variable in Python. So the first rule is that, that the name of the variable should start with an alphabet or the underscore character. So you cannot start the name of the variable with a number. Also the name of the variable can only contain alphanumeric values in the underscore character. So the name of the variable can be variable underscore one, but you cannot add special characters like comma or any other. The only special character you can use in the name of the variable is the underscore character. Also variables names are case sensitive so hi with a capital H and I is equal to 5 and small h i hi is equal to 8 and capital H and small i is equal to 9. These are three different variables so the name of the variables are case sensitive so if you'll add hi plus hi plus hi then you'll get 22 5 plus 8 plus 9 is equal to 22 and we've also learned about the addition operator that is an arithmetic operator. So I think, I hope that things are clear with variables now. Now let's talk about arithmetic operators. So now you can see the list of arithmetic operators in Python on your screen. So the first one is the addition operator which is used to add two values. As you can see we have taken example of two variables a is equal to 5 and b is equal to 2. So addition operators add 5 plus 2 is equal to 7. Subtraction operator subtracts 5 minus 2 is equal to 3. Multiplication operator used with the asterisk sign is 5 times 2 is 10. We know that. And now the division operator. This is an interesting operator because if we use single slash to use the division operator, then we'll get the decimal value. As you can see, the answer is 2.5. But here as you can see, integer division, when we use two slash for the division process, then we will get an integer value. So instead of the decimal value, we'll get integer value if we use two slashes and it might come handy in various situations. Now the most interesting so interesting operator here in the arithmetic operators list is this modulus operator because it gives you the value of the remainder after performing division. So as you can see, if we divide 5 by 2, then 2 times 2 is 4 and 1 is remainder. But it is interesting because when we use negative numbers, then we might get results that we did not expect. And we'll talk about that in detail in this video only. And the last is the exponent operator, which is used to calculate exponential power value. So a is to the power b, that is 5 is to the power 2 is 25. So this is the exponent operator. So let's try 8 raised to the power 3. We know it is 512. So now the most interesting operator that is the modulus operator. So if I give you the example of 7 modulus 3, so we know 3 times 2 is 6 and one is the remainder. But if we use the negative seven here and use three here, then the answer will be two. And if we use negative seven, negative three, then the answer will be minus one. And if we use positive seven and negative three, then the answer will be minus two. So these are not the answer we expected. So now I'm going to show you how Python approaches this modulus division. So as you can see on your screen right now, minus 7 modulus operator 3 is equal to 2. So the only most important rule here is that 
the sign of the remainder will be same as that of your divisor. So if your divisor is positive, your remainder will be positive. If your divisor is negative, then your remainder will be negative. That's the only thing that you have to remember, then everything is really easy. So let's assume we have a glass. This, this is our glass in red. And the value, the depth of that glass is equal to the magnitude of the dividend. As you can see, minus seven. So this is our glass with the value minus seven. And we have to fill our glass with the help of ice cubes. And the value of each ice cube is equal to the value of divisor. So we are filling it with ice cube. So we put one ice cube in it. So three values are filled. Another ice cube, six values are filled. And when we put another ice cube, then our glass was filled and two values overflowed. So this is our remainder. And we knew it was positive. As you can see, it is on the positive side of the number line. But that's not it. Now let's move to the second example that might make things a bit more complicated. So first let's talk about this one. So here as you can see, minus seven modulus operator minus three is equal to minus one. So the most important rule that I told you to remember was that if the divisor is negative, then our remainder will also be negative. So in this case also we have a glass, we are filling it with the ice cube. So we filled it with three, three, six values were filled. But if we put another ice cube, we will be on the positive side of the number line. But as we told the mo as I told you that the most important rule here is that the sign of the divisor and that of remainder should be the same. So we will stop here only because we want the value of our remainder to be negative because our divisor is also negative. So we'll stop here only. So the value of remainder will be minus one. I hope things are a bit clear now because this is really complicated. So you might have to hear this video twice. But the only reason why we stopped here and we did not overflow the ice cubes because the sign of the divisor is negative. So the sign of the remainder will also be negative. But we fill, if we fill it with another ice cube, then we will be on the positive side of the number line and that will be wrong. So now let's get to the last example. 7 modulus operator minus 3 is equal to minus 2. So the magnitude of the depth of this glass will be equal to 7. That is the dividend as you can see positive 7. We'll fill it with the ice cube. 3, 3, 6 values and other ice cube because we want our, our remainder to be negative because our divisor is also negative. So we'll put another ice cube and we are on the negative side of the number line and the answer is minus 2. So I hope things are a bit clear because this modulus operator is really complicated and a lot of people get confused in it. So I hope you liked it. That's it for this video. I'll see you guys in the next one.